Hello, everybody. Welcome to day three of our series of Eat Good Food for Less. And today we're going to talk about the Earth Box. So now the Earth Box, if you remember right, looks just like this. You can see all on the inside here what that looks like. And so underneath this black shelf here is a water reservoir. So the soil will go in on top. You'll, you'll see us put fertilizer and stuff in here as well that is designed for this earth box. And then once a week, we'll keep checking and filling it with water. And we'll talk about that as we go along this process. But I wanna show you how easy it is to do this earth box, put some plants in it, and then you, like with the hydroponics tower, we'll get to see how fast they grow in this earth box. And today, my wife Susan is gonna help with the filming. So you may hear her voice chime in from time to time. Maybe we'll get her on camera, who knows? But we work on this together because it's the love of our life. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the Muscle Repair Shop. This is day three of the Eat Well for Less series. And today we're gonna talk about, as I promised, about the earth box. Now, all of my earth box things that I get, the soil, the fertilizers, and the box itself actually comes from the earth box store in Palmetto, Florida. But if you don't live where, close to where I live, you can get all this stuff at earthbox.com. And the guys there have plenty of information to help you, any questions that you have over and beyond what I'm telling you here today. But let's get started, let's get going here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this soil that I got from the earth box store and we're going to put about four inches of it into the bottom of the box and then I'm going to wet that so I'm going to stand up here so we can do that what goes into making this happen here and so we put about four to five inches of this soil into the box itself we're going to pat it down pretty well and then we're going to take our water hose and come in and just really soak it now the reason for soaking this is to help it draw water from the bottom to keep the plants healthy and, and strong so they grow up you have lots of food here again we're going to soak this down really well just like that then we can come back and we start filling our box up here and we're going to make a little mound here on top As you can see, it gets your hands really dirty here, but that's okay. It's worth it. Get a little more in here. So it takes almost a whole bag per box here. But this is a very lightweight bag, so it works out really well. All right, so we pile this up and make like a little mountain here on top. It's kind of fun to do. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hand and we're gonna dig a little trench here. There you go, just like that, into this area. Nice little trench. Now, we're gonna use our earth box vegetable fertilizer, as you can see right here, and we're gonna use the whole bag all the way into this trench here. Now keep in mind, this earth box is gonna be working for the next six months, just like that. And then we'll cover this up like that. And then we'll take these minerals here and we're going to sprinkle. This also came from the Earthbox store. And again, they'll tell you which ones to get for your, for your stuff. And you're going to sprinkle this all on the top of the soil here. And again, you're going to use the whole bag. So it's nice how they put everything in these little baggies like this. It makes it much easier so you don't have to measure everything out. Okay, so now we get to the fun part. So let me clarify a little something here. The reason that you have this cover and the way the system is, it's a closed system. Now, A, it, you won't allow weeds to grow there, which is a great thing if you're trying to grow vegetables. And B, it allows these minerals to really get to the plants so that they can grow much better than if you just had them out in the yard someplace. Anyway, so let's get to the fun part. This is the part of putting the plants in. So like I said earlier, I have a row of red mustard greens here and I have three red cabbages we're gonna put into this box here. So what I do is I start out and I cut my first hole here, just like that into this thing here. And then I'll cut another hole here like that. And then I'll cut, cause there's like five of these little bunches of mustard greens here that I want to put into this box. 
and then I'll put a clump of them up here. So you can see cutting this is very easy. Just need a little box cutter. You can get those at any hardware store. And the same thing, just like that. All right, so now we're ready to put in our mustard. Now I usually use a pencil here underneath and what it does is it pushes these out just like that. But I can take each of these clumps here, put my finger in there, dig right in here, stick them in. All right, and you just do one group at a time here. Just like that. And you just keep working your way right through them. There we go. And we got uh, small stragglers here we can add into the fifth hole. And what's nice about the red mustard is that it really produces over and over. So as you cut the leaves off and they get bigger, they'll actually produce more. So these little plants will produce food for us until probably next May, which would be cool things. Now, we'll put the red cabbage on the other side. So there's three of them, like I said earlier, got that here, got that there, just like that. Now these are a one and done thing. So what happens here is once they grow up and you wind up cutting the whole head off, now the plant is gone. You have to replace the plant, which is not a big deal. You can see, you just get more of these plants. Now these I got from the earth box store as well. But again, it's just a matter of you're starting this harvest here that's gonna feed you for a long time, which is a great thing. So, you know, once you buy all the earth box and stuff first, yes, it's a little bit of a commitment in the beginning, but it's years of giving and giving and giving back to us that actually feeds us, which is a great thing. And so when you think about it, you think about what we got cost in this year, this year, we're probably gonna eat for six months for less than five bucks. Not a bad trade, right? So I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any comments, questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and as always ring the bell because we've got day four coming when we start talking about what to put into the ground. Until then, see ya. Take a look at these. These are the plants that were planted like a week ago. Look and see how quite quick they have grown. And you can see that in every tower. And that's just in a week.